Hi everyone, this is Andy with an update of Vinyl, which will be launched very soon, as far as soon as I've uh, ironed out one of the bugs with it. So let's have a look. This is the when you start it, you get the main screen and then the, a menu here. And there's an about box at the top that pops up when you click that button about me and the basics of using this software with a scroll bar there and stuff to do with the different scenes within the software so to start with you're going to want to import your music tracks here i've already got some but you can click on locate files and you can go to your bon jovi golf rap whatever you have in mp3 format or org format and you can import them here and the software will try to decipher the title and the tracks and everything from that and then you got these in your library which is temporary this is just used when you want to create a record and after you've done that you can delete these and you can see there's a button there for remove selected so if I click on this one I could go remove it when I no longer need that in my repository of music tracks so when we move over to the next thing and then we're in the record producer this is the next stage when you import the first step here when you haven't got any records set up is to go to add tracks like for example on the side a of the album or the side b of the album click on plus and you can add them we got our library of tracks and then you can select some of them and then you can add the selected tracks but i've already done that obviously on the side a i've got these four tracks and they're showing up here as four bars there and there's a utilization display we call it playtime utilization depending on the size of the record and the speed like for example the, the common lp record is 12 inch and 33 and a third rpm speed that determines how the capacity of it for how many tracks it can have and how long is the playtime and this shows you the maximum available time and how much is utilized so far and then you can select other kinds of record sizes that be reflected when you play the disc in the turntable and the speed that they are played at obviously a smaller disc higher speed is much less capacity this is kind of just for fun and then you can even adjust the groove pitch like when the record is manufactured it has a particular pitch on the grooves in the vinyl and this can be reduced down but obviously in practically it's it's very difficult to make such a tiny like 0.1 of a millimeter groove right you need like a laser cutter or something so this is kind of just for fun really this stuff it doesn't affect the actual output of the the record in this software it will always be playable whatever you however many tracks you add like this is just kind of a bit of fun for enthusiasts of vinyl to play around with and they can see how much they could pack onto one particular size and speed of record and uh, this is showing the artwork which we've set up or you could actually um, go to your file system you click on that you can import uh, an image but we have another tab here for actually creating artwork in a more sophisticated way and so far we got like the side a and side b artwork for the disc and nothing for the covers of the sleeve and if you don't want this anymore you can click on delete and remove it and you can select uh, one of the tracks and you can let's see you can edit the information about it this is extracted when you import the the album or the mp3 or whatever it tries to fill in the fields for title band and or the artist and the, 
the track information based on what it can pick out from the file but you can edit this if it doesn't suit if it doesn't look right you know you can edit and uh, but we won't bother changing these because they look fine to us but you can edit any of these features here an album won't actually be created won't be saved unless it has a title so most of the times it will automatically get the title but you can change it according to your your desires and uh, up here we have information on the record producer is basically taking us to the info pop-up which targets this one so you can see about importing music tracks creating a record and then all the other tabs information about how to operate with those and we can rearrange the tracks using these arrows like Anason there move it up pop and we can also multiple select things move up and move down that kind of thing to rearrange stuff and of course delete selected tracks from this list and get information on a particular track by clicking I you can see that and play a track I won't play it for more than a couple of seconds because um, YouTube is gonna like pick up on the copyright of it but you can see that it will play with the spectrum and our analysis display of it for fun and uh, we can step ahead I'll show you quickly step 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 forward and then stop yeah that's just a play it's kind of like a like a, a music player built into this to check it out and, and then if you do the these operations apply to just side B so yeah we can do that side B okay that's side B and uh, so that is a quick overview of the record producer scene and clicking here you can select an album from these are just different size ones like 7 inch 45 I've set up for test purposes going back to this one the 12 inch 33 and a third then the next tab is album artwork where you can create your own album art this is just like a mess because I've been testing things I click on AB that is showing you the text I just type text Y that's that green stuff there if I click Z for example it's added that and it's over the size of that so we can go up here to sizing oh if they're grayed out they're not available so yeah there you go not everything has an effect that you can use you can rotate you can move and up and down to posi position things and uh, there's all these things like rotated text I mean text on a like a circle this is quite interesting there's a lot of things you can do there like size of the text and then that kind of thing and then the angle of rotation and uh, sh that's kind of thing diameter of that one it depends on it, all the things in the circles there's a circle there like it's a bit useless being there and then move it into there and thicken it up for example I'll move the size then this is where's the thickness this one you can do that kind of stuff just to customize and build your image for the one of the sides such as the label on side A B side or front cover would be a square shape for the album album sleeve in the back cover suggested text gives us a list of all the extracted information from the mp3 file that we can cut and paste and you may uh, copy to the clipboard and etc and then paste it into something like a text node for example like one of these you can there's the text you can control V to take uh, copy that text into the that box to get it in there and then arrange it like uh, tracks or names of things you want to do and uh, clear would clear all that and start again 
We can also import, uh, click on this. Checkerboard means there's no background image yet. You could uh, select an image in JPEG or ping form and uh, that would be inserted in the background of this and there's also background color modulation so we can you can do it manually there via sliders of HSV hue saturation value or pick it from this pop-up and then the background is modulated the current design is there it's not saved yet so you want to save that design save it and that shows you what has been saved if we go back to the back to the record producer scene it will reflect that in the artwork there and you will see that this is the name it was saved as we already did that before so it had the same name that we used before and uh, okay that is uh, we covered that record producer the art album artwork page we skimmed over it a little bit oh and the album artwork because it's it, to do with like colors and art this is a chance to change the background of of the whole thing of the app so we can change in there okay and uh, this is the background click somewhere to get and then foreground is like this kind of color so we can change it a bit like customize it right so uh, I prefer like a bluish look so whereas the blues come on okay so that will prevail and set, be saved when we quit the app and then go here the music collection scene this is like a cabinet with our albums and then the one we've currently selected is popped out we could click another one that pops out and then the information of the tracks is about it there and then this one different albums and uh, and at the bottom of the screen you can see the the name of the album that we are selecting and we can pan i mean yeah that's panning hold the shift and left mouse button control left mouse button to zoom if we want to revert say we did something crazy revert back to the reset position click this one there uh, information about this scene music library click the eye select images these are like hdir images high definition for 3d panoramic views which i've got there uh, in the currently the export of this where I wanted to publish it it doesn't work for some reason I've got to debug that and then see that message show what we're doing now this is a, a constant background color which you can set up here if you don't have a background image click the next one that is uh, it should show look here panoramic background solid background image oh we can't see the image because of that white but it's an image used now go back to that the panoramic image and the, here we got some sliders to, this is just the brightness of light shining on this cabinet and the uh, make it darker and this one is for the brightness of the scene the HDR because these background lights can be quite intense with HDR so you need to adjust them to get the see that the, otherwise the clouds and sky can be washed out for example and uh, let's now our selected one this this album will be available in uh, the player go back to this a minute and if we click we click on an album we select it we go back select this one we click it again it takes us to the player or we can just click on the player turntable scene 
And again, this has the uh, different ways to view it, like that. And uh, we can zoom, we can pan, and that kind of stuff. Now, this has uh, some options for the color settings of the platter. By the way, I think this turntable resembles a Riga planer, which is a common, a very popular kind of s simplistic uh, audiophile uh, record player deck. And we can change the color of this, like the main chassis or the, the cartridge. So an orange one, for example. And then we've got our orange cartridge. There's three controls here. There's the speed dial, which starts it and displays the speed down there. 45 or 78, 33, for example. And then the LED indicates what is currently selected. And we have this uh, like the controller, control arm, which lowers with fluid damping, this thing lowers with the fluid damping. Or we can grab the arm with our mouse and move move the arm sideways like that. Be careful not to scratch the needle on the deck. <laughs> and let's raise it up with the arm. And to select the side of the music to play, we go to this this panel here which can be minimized and maximized and we are seeing side A of the sleeve there which we haven't designed and the rear side which we haven't designed and it rotates basically around the sleeve and the album from the A side to the B side. Let's play the A side and this indicates what we can do. We can drop it onto the platter. It appears on the platter. This info thing minimizes. And we can move our arm over. Let's zoom in a bit and pan to the side. You can see the grooves and indication of where the tracks start and end. So we've got this leading area here. It indicates green when we're in a place that's good to drop the needle down and red when we're within a track to be played. So let's drop it there with the arm. Wait a couple of minutes, seconds, <laughs> and uh, it'll start to play. I don't want to play much because of copyright stuff. And then if you move the needle over the record is obviously going to scratch but it will know where to start somewhere playing from and then the end is quite interesting like it's finished and then it swoops across and it clicks when it's on the last track click <laughs> so lift up and then we can't eject the record yet because our arm is in the way. So move it out of the way and then you can eject it. And then you can go to side B and drop that down to play if you like. And then finally there's a, another one which will come in the future where you can use additional uh, units to play music such as this reel-to-reel -reel tape deck or a cassette player for example so that is a quick overview of what i envisage of the first release of vinyl the analog music play simulator looking like cheers thanks a lot and hopefully you'll subscribe and like this video cheers bye